Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rakdar, and we are going to do some more Skyward Sword today. I only charged up that Skyward Blade Blast because I thought it would look cool. It did. It made Link look like a badass. I bet you never looked like a badass before. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. I can't just go around accusing you of not looking like a badass. I don't know if you look like a badass or not. Let's see if I've got any bombs. And by bombs, I mean regular bombs, since bombs have like feet and are partially. That's it for one roopster. I could go to King Roopsters and get more roopsters than that for less bombs than that. Like bombs, I'd say have like an inherent value of like ten roopsters each, maybe. I, mean, I don't know. What do you? How much? How much? How many roopsters? That's it. Just enemies? How many roopsters do you think bombs are worth? Like seriously, let's be serious here. Let's like let's think of some real roopster values for bombs. I'm personally gonna go with the amount that I just said. What amount do you think? I don't know. How am I gonna beat this thing? It's obviously gonna be annoying. Alright. Maybe your beetle your your Oh you know what? You can beat it in the intended way. You get out your hooker beetle, and you go pick up some chicks. Alright. Oh, yeah. There we go, big guy. How do you like that? You know, that's a free bomb factory right there, though. Like, um... They should just put a label over that that says free bomb factory, instead of the label that it currently has, which is no label at all. So just in case you're wondering what that, like, pillar should be labeled, Definitely, it should be labeled Free Bomb Factory, and... Oh, that? Look at that! For doing, like, storyline shit, I get five Roopsters. Like, I'd say one bomb is totally worth just doing storyline shit. Like, oh, I messed up. Oh, there we go. Whew. Like, I don't even feel like I need the five Roopsters as long as I get some storyline stuff done. But the game is all, like, hanging out with 50 Cent. And shit. No, the game is all like, nah. We'll give you five roopsters for doing storyline stuff, but for trying to find secrets, for trying to find secrets, you get no reward. The best reward of all is knowing you tried to find a secret. That's not true. The best reward of all is like a hundred rupees. Or even, I guess since a lot of those um, statues have like five rupee pieces in them, we can say that the inherent value of one bomb is like maybe five rupees? I don't know. Who's to say how much one bomb is really worth? It's not- oh, what? I was there! I was there! You didn't see me just now, like, I wasn't just like yelling at the game. I was like yelling at the skies, cursing the god of this game. I was cursing the goddess, which is blaspheme. Complete. There's more of these guys. I saw them. I was like, there's more of these little bugs. Which, yeah, cursing the goddess, that's blaspheme, you know? I wonder. So, this switch has to do something, obviously. I mean, the first one got the. Oh! Secrets! Ryan Secrets! I love Ryan Secrets. Alright. Man, you really have to. Don't get a lot of room for error on these because you pretty much run out just getting to the thing. That's bad game design. Okay, that's actually not. That's fine. You just, it's like, why does it need to be so far away, you know? Why does it need to be so far away? And that was a secret that was kind of worth it. I have given my speech before about how my stupid little speech... Five, five rups in a bucket, one rup to bomb the thing. I need to call Satoru Iwata... That's the only person I can ever remember when I'm thinking, when I'm playing this game, is Satoru Iwata. But I think if I'm not mistaken, he is like... Oh, it's these guys that I failed miserably against earlier, even though they're not challenging. Alright. Oh, okay. Having my sword out might help. Alright. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Put him in, put your stump in a line. Alright. Oh, I was slashing! I was in the middle of slashing. Oh, dude, I got all three that time. Dude, do you like how I'm just like flailing now? I'm just like, screw this! Alright, cool. Man. 
These guys are not very challenging. There we go. I was like... Oh, you get a 20 Rupster? Maybe that's only if you defeat it the... the way that... the way that Uriham intended... Oh, look, did you see that? They were in that upward diag... <clears throat> they were in that upward diagonal pattern. I hit them in that pattern, and the game was like, nah, brah. You didn't do what you just think you did. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? If I can't hit it in the pattern I want, I can just cheat. Alright. What what pattern are you gonna- Oh, there we go. Check that out. Check it out! Money Mayhem! Now my Money Mayhem magic is working just fine. I've got a feeling that's the way things are gonna go from now on with those bad boys. Oh. Oh. These enemies were weird to me because it's like... They're almost pointless, just because they're so small and do nothing with ten bombs! I don't even need ten bombs, didn't you see? I'm like, the Bomb King. That was my name before I played this game, was the Bomb King. King Babombo. It's like King Dodongo, but instead of being a Dodongo, I'm... Damn it, I'm talking about Bob bombs again. I said I wasn't going to talk about Bob bombs since they're from Mario. Since they're from Mario Wind. <laughs> Have you ever played Mario Mario Wind? You know there's like a heavy modding community for like those games? What they should do... Oh, what they should do is have a game where... Can I... Will that do it? Yep, that will do it. They should totally have a game where... Or I mean, they should totally just make a mod for Morrowind where they just reskin everything with Mario stuff and then just call the mod Mario Wind. Will that work? Is that a good idea? Because I personally think it's a great idea. And anyone who disagrees with me can throw a death tantrum because I don't even care. Alright. So here's a save point. I feel like I should save since that room seemed to be a struggle point for me. Not really, though. I mean... Kind of... I was too busy talking about Mario Wind, but that was actually within the last five minutes, All right? So, I can see immediately that I think those barrels of monkeys over there need to be blown up by a ba bomb Dude, I'm gonna keep on, I can't help it. I, like, habitually call everything a ba bomb ever, in my entire life. Let's see here, yeah, I can't go through that gate. There's a gate there, yeah, so that's obviously the woo. You think you're gonna trick? Oh, you think you're gonna trick me being all electrified? Well, you ain't. Oh man, I was hoping to get some hearts, and that guy decided he jumped to his death. He was more afraid of fighting me than death. That shows some. There's some keys. Cool, dude. The keys in this have wacky eyes. Did you notice that? Oh, almost died there. Wasn't even worth it to get that heart piece. Did anybody else notice that the keys have like? I feel like they've like got swirly eyes. But maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. Is this the item? Oh, it's a silver key. That's that's good. Not necessarily a silver key, it's a small key. The item is we're finally going to get to where we... Oh, okay, so we can't go that way yet. So apparently we just need to... I'm afraid that if I... Yeah, I was like, if I, I'm afraid if I just run, I will perfectly have just enough distance to fall to my death. Which... As much as falling to your death isn't a big deterrent in this game, I still don't want to do it. Because, like, seriously, it's not exactly the biggest deterrent, you know? Like, you take one heart of damage, no biggie, no bigster. Alright, there we go. You know, though, I was going to say something about falling to your death. Now I was going to say something about something else, but... Oh well. Falling to your death. Not the biggest deterrent, like... Probably a bigger deterrent. Oh, what is this? Oh, I know. These... I remember not liking these stupid blowfish. Can I just kill them with this? I think I can. Wait. Yep, they... Okay, yeah. If you hit them against a the wall, they blow up. Um, I think that's, like, only if you hit them against a the wall, though. Like, if I just hit them, yeah, it just bounces back. So, there's a better weapon for fighting these guys, I think, at the end of this room. But I do want to get this thing out of my way, though. That's why I'm, like, so darn focused on... There we go. There we go. And I gotta take out... Can I climb these? Oh, but there... Oh, there's more than I thought. 
There we go. They just came after me. They did the work for me. They did the work for me. You know what? They can go ahead and do that all they want. I don't mind. Alright. Um... Oh, but I can't get up there. Is there, like, a bomb I can grab? Ah! Ha 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 ha! I don't know if I'm supposed to do it this way, like... Part of me feels like I'm doing it backwards, and part of me feels like... I'm doing it just right. I really don't know. There we go. Because, like, is there even anything up there? Oh, there's a button! Okay, so this is totally what I'm supposed to be doing. And if not, then sue me, but I really don't see how this could not be what I'm supposed to be doing, right? And look, these guys are pissed. Just jump off. Just do it. Just fall off the wall. Oh, dude, hearts. You know one thing? I've mentioned this before. Hearts are actually a rarity in this game. Like, they're not so rare that the game is, like, uber challenging. But, like I have stated before, they actually make it so... You do feel like... Like, okay, I'm just gonna test this really quick. If I get off the button, obviously... Yeah, the gate closes. Sorry, I just... I always get curious if, in this game if, like, you're standing on a permanent button or not, and the answer in this case is, yes, I am standing on a permanent button, but yeah, that's gonna turn all these towers into my enemies for realsies now, like, this room is about to turn from dormant to dangerous, it's gonna go from one D of the spectrum to another D of the spectrum, which I didn't know there was, like, a D spectrum until just now, but there is. So, oh, okay, I was like, that's no biggie because I already did what I want to do. Alright, cool. These enemies, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually really thought these enemies were, uh, wait, no, no, do the, stab in, in, thrust. There we go. These were some enemies that I thought had some cool design because, um, I don't know, they actually have some, like, uh, some, like, point to the way they fight, and the stabbing mechanics actually makes fighting these guys fun, like, Sometimes, you'll, you'll notice I probably do complain a little, and by a little I mean I complain a lot about the, um, okay, here we go. Whoa. You'll notice that I do complain quite a bit about the, come on, they really, okay, I was like, they have to put these at a good enough distance where you can always get to one. Alright, there we go. Like, you'll notice that sometimes I do complain about the stabbing mechanics in this game, or just the sword mechanics in general, like, they're a little bit clunky, but for enemies like that, it's actually perfect. That's a very, it's a well-designed enemy, considering, click like here, oh, unless I do it wrong. It's a very well-designed enemy, considering what you have at your disposal. So, like, in terms of that kind of stuff, I gotta say, I gotta say nothing, I just gotta hand it to him, like, okay. Sometimes, although your sword mechanics can be clunky, you got it right, Nintendo, a lot. Which is why, albeit I do complain about that stuff sometimes, I still will come out and just be like, Oh yeah, I actually, I do actually believe this game is awesome. Like, I've got my complaints about it, but I do actually think it's awesome. So, good job with those mechanics. And, I think it's cool that... I want to get the thing even though I don't need it. Oh, oh and then here we have two levels of... And I also like that once you get going, because it automatically faces you once you start going, that you kind of have to just keep up your good, strong work. Like, it, it, makes, it makes it a fun dynamic when you have to just kind of like keep going at it once you kind of make your decision, oh, I'm gonna fight this thing. So I don't know. It's fun. They're well-designed enemies. I actually really like this place, but I don't know if I mentioned already, one thing I do really like about it is ye old tunes. Oh, okay, so I need... Can I get those guys to blow those rocks up, or do I need bombs? Let's find out. Blow it up. Yeah, boy. Okay. Like, I think I can use bombs for that, but I can also use the, uh, the pufferfish. Oh, they're gonna come back. I forgot about that. They're on, like an infinite respawn cycle, which, in my defense, it's okay for me to forget about things since I haven't played this game since it came out last year, at which time I totally loved it. I don't know. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, there's little spikes that get triggered from you running around up here, so it's a good idea to approach this with this mentality instead of by trying to get to where you're going on the ground. There's an item, literally, that I get in this room, in case you're like, 
Rektar, is there any better way to fight those things than what foolish thing that you're doing? And the answer is... Oh, crap. I want to... No, stop. I want Z target this way. I want to try and lure him over and get that other rock exploded. Oh, whatever. Maybe I should just go on the ground for now. The ground is probably the way the game intends for me to go until I get the item that I'm looking for. But yeah, there's an item that you get in this room that... Yeah, I mean, it's like any Zelda game. There's an item that they have in the temple that changes the way you go about what you're doing in the temple. Like, suddenly all these things that seemed impossible are now quite possible. And it might be in that box. Oh, just one of them. Oh, I thought maybe one of them was going up and the other was not. Alright. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I totally think the game did not intend me for ta to take the top route until I got the item. Alright. Or maybe that's not the case, because it looks like... Oh, okay, so I can push a, r a thing down there. That's a dead end. Is that... Oh, okay, that's not a dead end. That is, though. That is also a dead end. Man, maybe I am supposed to... go up around the top here, because that's a dead end. Whoa. No, no, no. No, 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 don't shake the baby. Oh, no, I'm going to start saying that again. That could be pretty bad if I start saying, no, 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 don't shake the baby again. That's, uh, from a foolishly stupid video game called... It's actually an awesome video game called Babysitting Mama. I've actually never played that game, but I watched a video of it because I was curious what the hell was the deal with it. And one of the large aspects of the game is that Mama is like, no, 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 don't shake the baby. All right. Yeah, so we can arc that up over that. Can I... Nope. I thought maybe I could at least hit the pufferfish with my sword and, like, knock him away. But that is not the case, so... Who knows? I am, like I said, very confused about how they expected me to go about this room, but... It seems as though I should have just gone with my original strategy at this point. Oh well. You, uh... You win some, you lose some, you learn some lessons, you... spurn some lessons. And that first lesson was definitely one that I spurned, if that's a word, which I think it is. And I think I might even be using it right. You got the gust bellows. Which is not as metal as I made it sound just now. Do you feel the controls? Went, okay, yep. Press your dong to center it and blah 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 blah. By the way, yeah, this thing... I actually loved this item. I feel like this is from an earlier Zelda. Oh, no, don't want to do that. I feel like this item was actually from an earlier Zelda, and I just don't know which... Like, possibly one of the ones for Game Boy, like one of the top-down RPG ones, maybe. Because, like, I totally remember this game being from a different Zelda. 